the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Today is June 6, 2022. It is 2.15 a.m. This is my back end. And I was just looking at my estimate. It's been sticking around $300. Each time it went up and then during the day, it went straight back down again. I just don't understand. It's like 300 is like my cap for my channel. Even though people are watching my videos and stuff like that. I don't understand how the revenue just stick around 300. Uh, let's look my analytic. Yep, it's showing the same. All right, so let's go on Twitter. There's one thing I'm trying to avoid. I did, actually, let's go back. I did put it on my community board, but for some reason, it seems like no one saw it. I probably gonna have to delete it and repost it again. It's regarding the the youngest son of William and Kate who was acting up during the Jubilee. I, let's just go to it and show you what I wrote. Okay, so this is what I wrote and it's been how long? 11 hours since I put it. No one gave it a like, no one put a comment nothing so i don't know maybe there's something i did wrong and posting it and stuff like that all right so this is me hi all i came across this video today i will not feature it in any of my regular tweet videos and i do not want to capitalize on it i'm only sharing it here on my community board just make to make a point i've said this a lot in my videos i don't see how these kids will learn anything different from their parents it is obviously a case of quote kids will be kids end quote behavior it is given if he feels comfortable doing this to his mother in public imagine privately 
Like I said, I will not feature this video in any of my regular tweet videos. However, I will share tweets that made reference to it. Because the three kids are Princess Di's grandkids, I wish America to strike two times, three times, and hopefully four times in this family. The first one was when miracle happened to Prince Harry. Prop to my tender. So this video show is 19 seconds. It's, you know, Louis acting up obviously he's being cared and things like that and then at the end of that video i created it and i put a a picture of my tender you know talking to him you know sh saying like i'm looking at you and stuff like that so i don't know which way to go with it this is why i was trying to avoid it but since it's not seems like it didn't go through on my community board but it is shown it is there but it seems like people from the other side are not seeing it um at least one i'm expecting at least one thumbs up or thumbs down whatever it may be but it's nothing it's like no traction at all but the whole point for me doing that is that uh, i uh, i don't know how to go about it because this is a child who's acting up which is obviously but you know if it was harry and megan's uh, children who's doing anything they'll be criticizing scrutinized look at uh, archie just born look how they were talking about him so i don't have anything positive to say so this that was the reason why i only put it on my community board and i was not gonna talk about it on this video but since it didn't show anything so i'm mentioning it just to let you know i am aware of it but i don't have anything positive to say so because it's kids i'm just gonna leave it as that i'm not gonna be the same as these people uh you know who would have been criticizing and scrutinizing uh if it was uh, Archie or a little bit. And I would just have to say thank God that uh, Harry and Megan were not in presence. Because I, I'm, pr nah, I, Harry, Megan in particular knows just not to even be. All right, so let's go on Twitter. This one, I saw it when I turned on my computer. So I was like, let me share it. This is something I will probably would have shared on my other channel. But since it's here, let's do it. Okay, today on the Platinum Jubilee, I'm thinking of the 72 people who died at Greenfell. I'm thinking of the people shaking with the fear of being deported to Rwanda in two weeks time. I'm thinking of the million of pounds spent on a party that giving elsewhere could lift children out of poverty, could heal families, could realize dreams. I'm thinking that the person at the center of this is a frail elderly woman who isn't allowed to be seen in a wheelchair and the message that's sent to people with disabilities everywhere. I'm thinking about how we lift up an institution that is wholly inappropriate for the communities it is deemed to serve i'm thinking about how the dessert created for this weekend takes six hours to make and costs 40 pounds at a time when people can't afford to fuel their home i'm thinking about colonization and the people around the world whose home are daily sinking still further into the sea i'm thinking about the victim of abuse specifically told to be quiet about their abuser for the facade of this weekend i'm thinking about my friend who work tirelessly for a better future and whose efforts are continually crushed by a government which is all power and no empathy. I'm thinking about class struggles. I'm thinking about Mark Duggan. I'm thinking about every newspaper article that demonizes trans people. I'm thinking about love. I'm thinking about kindness. I'm thinking about everything we could be. And I'm thinking about how little time we have left to be uh to be those things i'm thinking about the revolution i'm thinking about where i'll i'll be when it comes wow revolution so this is monique buffet let's see i'm assuming she's a, a mp or maybe not lawyer daughter of migrants promoter of sisterhood and access to justice she her director all right so let's read some of the comments Okay, I'm not a royalist by any means, and yes, the money could be spent elsewhere, but there was a definite feel-good vibe around the Jubilee celebration. Wow, that's the thing here. A lot of people don't see all that money that could have been spent onto something else. Okay, 12 million pounds spent on the Queen celebration, 70 years of service by these people. We pay 845,000 
pound yearly just to feed our 80,000 K salaries. MP lunch every day, just lunch. So wow, um, this is why the UK is, is in big, is in huge trouble. The people don't see now they're returning the blame on her, the MP, when they are the one. Okay, the people of the UK who elect them, who put them in position, who put those elected officials who could do something about it. Wow, just lunch. So imagine the figures if second homes and gratuities were included perspective is everything okay then even realize mp get 25 pound per day food allowance 125 pound per week uh 1300 pound per year per person 845,000 pound per year for all mps 800,000 pound plus of our taxes go toward feeding mps on 80,000 pound a year while children go hungry if that doesn't bother you then you have a problem <laughs> if all that money that you spend over the weekend to celebrate then you definitely have a problem i'm not saying this is okay but this is the level of things let's see here there's I'm, i don't want to spend too much time on it but it, this is uh, fascinating to read some of the comments okay at least our mps are theoretically doing a job we elect them okay we elect them and they work for us what exactly does the queen do how exactly is the royal family earning the money they've given? I, I really don't care either way about the monarchy, but you can't compare MP and the royal family. Thank you. I'm guessing most businesses in UK have had a brilliant few weeks reaping the financial benefit of our 12 million pound jubilee. Can say the same for the uh, 350 billion pounds spent in one year during lockdown when most businesses were shut perspective i'm telling you okay celebration costs 1.2 billion pound one jet uh wouldn't fly for 12 million pound okay and 350 uh, and there's a question 350 billion pound of our money uh disappeared two years ago in an imaginary track and trade system we pay our mps 854,000 pound a year to eat lunch perspective okay is it hard to be outraged at both thank you at both okay not in comparison kids my god the money that's going <laughs> okay after this what's on the screen that's it this doesn't make spend spending knee on the queen okay just highlight an additional issue up uh did not say okay op did not say that the spending on uh on the useless monarchy is the only waste of money yes it does bother me and both shouldn't happen mm. okay service lol all monarchies should be dealt with appropriately <laughs> that's that all right so there's more comment but i'm moving on okay like i said I, I, the squad were talking a lot i mean i came across a lot of tweet that had to do with uh uh the final day of the jubilee the little boy who's acting up but uh, this is a child who's being a kid but the mother who's i don't know doesn't she have a how do you say that a early childhood intervention thing she keeps on talking about uh some discipline needs to be take place i don't know maybe at some point i'll come back to it uh when i feel comfortable to talk about about it but this is a child and it's just the level of things the way they would have compared it if it was uh megan's kids in comparison with um with these kids all right let's see here megan marco is far superior than all the basic karens that spew their vial at her she makes them inadequate and that is why they hate her let's see here facts okay let's see here you get that right on the head yes i said that and i made all of it <laughs> all right let's go to the next tweet okay princess megan is literally embodiment of classy and perfect all right yes, this princess diana is very very proud of her daughter-in-law and did she have loved catherine uh oh please please they have they have to uh uh she's by she is by, by marriage okay i can't say this so it's probably some idiots who's inserting themselves here and then when you put them in their place they're telling you to shut up <laughs> very elegant our duchess princess uh, our duchess megan the most elegant lady at the service okay why is 
this giving Jackie O realness. Jackie O was an original. Megan seems to be trying too hard to copy. Nah, nah. She's not trying at all. She just do her thing and then she bounce. She bounce. Okay. They forcing her to come. Her and Harry. So, you know, to overshadow the nonsense that's going on. But still, look at at the end, the kids. <laughs> okay. It's giving Olivia Pope. This is Megan looking so good. I admire what you you have done you will always be in my thought you and harry stood up for something very important and uh, that's what matter i too had to do the same thing i live with a brain injury it makes life so hard okay this duchess megan wax all right there's a uh, heart thumbs up she is looking very elegant and stylish all right elegant poor she is the real royalty okay it's a shame they are not having them at event with nah they chose not to. I'm sure they would have come. They chose not to. Uh, can you imagine if she they were over there? They chose not to. Even the reception after what happened at the church. I learned they didn't want to be there. They just bounce. They just bounce. Next tweet. Okay. 20 years from now, she will be the only one remembered from this day. That is true. That is true. Okay. There in lays the problem the only one who should be remembered from this day 20 years from now is the queen she wasn't even there she didn't even show herself she did not show herself so who 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 are they gonna talk about okay this isn't about anyone but her that's what megan has never seemed to understand she didn't even want to be there they asked harry to be there and she had to show up next to her husband it's all about the queen okay let's see this this is good okay blame the media for writing more about megan than all the other royals combined then blame the public who since getting a glimpse of her at the trooping of color was made megan the only royal to trend on twitter since thursday thank you okay if you don't like me and still watch everything i do honey you are a friend uh, a friend definitely you need to take that uh, that up with uh, the tabloid and the media okay you don't get it megan didn't make this about her the press did and she uh, handled it with grace and elegant exactly 100 percent. so it's her fault the queen then attend all she did was attend and follow the direction given by the firm <laughs> you all did the rest okay the queen wasn't present to take a effing sit thank you yep yep let's feed some of the comment here okay this photo is a work of art and find them how many photos the sis have uh, that are gonna be museum mounted <laughs> that's for sure exactly some don't realize it yet truly because i don't even know what the ceremony was for she didn't even show up the queen didn't even show up okay she is a stunner diana will have a proof okay i was just thinking about that they will have had a great relationship okay simply breathtaking i will always follow her and prince harry those two are real i've been following the royal since 1980 when i was six okay next tweet Prince William got bored at Wembley. They call it a disgrace. Boris got bored yesterday. They said they were far more cheers than booze. Harry and Meghan got cheers. They claim they were bored. Harry and Meghan aren't headed as they want you to think. Like the Queen said, they much loved. All right, so no comment on that one. I saw it and I thought maybe it's within something else that I bookmarked. But there it is. Next tweet little thread that i think shows how the plenitude of the online world allowed newspapers to create something out of nothing in order to push a certain line in this case dislike of megan marco okay i'm not gonna read this uh, meaning i'm not gonna click on it i know they said in yesterday at daily express and tweeted about it the bbc's preoccupation with megan marco has quote sparked uproar and quote the journalist who posted the link deleted her tweet but the piece is still there okay let's see the okay spare a thought for journalists today this article claimed that viewers are in uproar about the bbc coverage of megan and harry the evidence tweet with zero replies or retweet some from other unsavoring account that it must have been some effort to find okay what is that uh this is the person they took screenshot can you stop giving megan so much effing camera time there are people there who love and respect our queen who deserve more camera time this is what the squad are saying you guys are p talking about her and then when she become trending you get upset all right let's see here 
okay can you stop giving megan so much effing camera time there are people there who love and respect our queen who deserve more camera time mm -mm -mm. okay let's see here what constitutes opera my original tweet got 41 retweet opera no utterly inconsequential but way above the upper threshold of the express this piece is based on tweet that in some case received no attention whatsoever except from the express like this one let's see that one okay much effing camera time there are people there who love and respect our queen who deserve more camera time what the hell all right same thing again okay what about this one for retweet and we've already picked no tweet quoted in the article got more attention oops i think i skipped something here this one was it just my thinking thought david dembley's commentary of the service was awful kept trying to make it about harry and megan did he forget it was about her majesty the queen terrible choice just my view scotty sammy commented okay was it just my thinking thought david dembley commentary okay what the hell uh, terrible choice all right let me go straight to the comment i don't okay so there's more what is that okay but the pieces is generate lots of anti marco posts one accusing megan and harry of necromancy now that will be a story the piece itself though is where the real magic lies something can draw out of nothing Okay, let's see here this malfactor miscreant and sinister couple know not the depth of their own depravity to permit the vicious vow and most unclear uh, necromancers into a place of worship is sacrilegious let alone promoting their vice on camera for the world to see what the hell these people are really crazy okay this is because of this okay they're mad as hell no access yeah that's the thing i completely forgot that I completely forgot. They don't give them access. They didn't even go to the thing, to the reception, because they didn't want to be next to them. Okay, this is very small. I can't see. Harry and Meghan refused to offer themselves up as currency for an ec economy of clickbait and distortion. No corroboration, zero engagement. The Sun, the Daily Mail, the Daily Mirror, the Daily Express. This is too small. I think I could read it, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, you could freeze your screen to read that okay effective march 31st 2020 no other royal communication representative act on behalf of the duke and duchess of sussex including palace spokespeople household representative no royal sources read the memo more specifically it noted quote going forward buckingham palace will no longer comment guide the on sussex related inquiries with that said please note that the duke and duchess of sussex will not be engaging with your outlet there will be no collaboration and zero engagement this is also a policy being instated for their communication team in order to protect that team from the side of the industry that readers never see yep that's when they were leaving Okay, in the spring of 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be adapting a revised media approach to ensure diverse and open access to their work. This adjustment will be a phased approach as they settle into a new normality of their updated roles. This update approach aims to engage with grassroots media organization and young up and coming journalists, invite specialist media to specific event engagement to give greater access to their cause driven activities widening the spectrum of news coverage as i'm reading this i'm thinking of the invictus where chris chip <laughs> went and then he could show clips on itv i believe it was whatever station he was in um after the event where he was talking about being at the invictus okay provide access to credible media outlet focus on objective news reporting to cover key moments and events and they still stuck uh, stuck to this continue to share information directly to the wider public via their official communication channel which is their website archwell.com is it that com yeah it, that is uh, the link is always in the description it's always the first one um i usually have uh, i think four links but occasionally i remove the, the last three but the first one archwell.com is always there okay continue to share information directly to white public via their official communication channels no longer participate in the royal voter system 
Yep, they let it be known and they stuck to that system. Duke and Duchess of Sussex say unnamed sources will no longer speak for them. <laughs> Meghan and Harry say only the official press team at Archwell will comment or not on any stories concerning the couple. Alright, so 1 January 2022. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, so they're trying to make traction but nothing. All right. When it comes to the royal family, uh, there's reality and then there's the reality that the MSM choose to create. If the royal family are overshadowed by Harry and Meghan, it's because that's the reality that the media have created. Yep. Okay. Harry and Meghan could overshadow the Jubilee. There's that. One endless stories about Harry and Meghan overshadowing the Jubilee. Okay. How dare Harry and Meghan overshadow the Jubilee. <laughs> self-inflicted okay during the open interview when duchess megan said quote they don't report the news they created the british media call her a liar yep yep and it is exactly what's happening she didn't even show up on many of the event they still talk about her and then they're blaming her for uh, for um not talking about the queen okay as you said i agree they are deliberately looking for negative news tweet one man booing probably one of them it said Yep, it is sad and it is a disgrace to journalism. We need people like you to keep pointing it out. So thank you. I have vested four years of harassment and abuse reporting fake news, twisting the narrative to suit their agenda. They did not get an outcome they wanted, so they threw a tantrum. <laughs> okay, the Express should worry about all these heads turning to catch a glimpse of Megan. Yep, yep. Okay, I can tell the, the one guy seated next to Lady W floral dress has a positive smile on his face. I think he likes what he sees. Uh, which one? Um, I guess him. Who else? That's the only one I could think of in this uh, picture. There's that. Thank you for sharing your observation. In 2019, I started noticing Insta hashtag bashing Harry and Meghan use an express article. So I went to Insta as the article fell off, claiming thousands were using tag to disparage Meghan in particular. And I found the hashtag used once and two whole postal said the entire of Insta hated Meghan. Okay, according to YouGov, 18 to 24 year old see Harry and Meghan as better role model than William. Prince Harry, 43% good role model, 12% bad. Prince William, 37 good, 25% bad. Uh, so those YouGov thing, uh, I always have a little question mark. Harry has been loyal to his wife, so there's that. <laughs> That's why I'm glad people see him. To be finally waking up but this has been happening ever since she was introduced as harry's girlfriend the press used the same tactic to force the couple to leave the country 100 percent yep that is true okay what is interesting to me as an american is that we hear very little about them here except if they appear at a charity or something because they are really just two people living here that have money other than that we don't really care that is true yep we really don't Okay, haha, -ha, superstar. Let's see here. Okay, I can't see this too much. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at St. Paul's Cathedral on Friday for the ceremony to commemorate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Meghan Markle, who was dressed in a white outfit and matching hat, joined her husband, Prince Harry, as they entered the church. Despite receiving cheers from the crowd, some BBC viewers became frustrated by the amount of coverage the couple received throughout the service. So, so just that appearance, this is the only appearance that I've seen that they've done. And they've been talking about them all throughout the Jubilee. <laughs> oh my God. And the Queen did not show up specifically on many events. Even the uh, the part where the kids uh, were, was the young Louis was acting up. I didn't see a, a glimpse of her. Okay, this is crazy. This type of stuff has been going on nearly six years ago. It has been going on for a very long time. This is their blueprint. This is their tactic. The same thing they did to Princess Diana. The minute Charles didn't want her anymore, they went to work. Uh, it, this is their tactic. Okay, express propaganda is tragic. Okay, looks like the press negatively has backfired and that uh, that it's them causing the overshadowing, not Harry and Meghan. Yep, Dr. Matthew uh, Street. Okay, are you aware? 
of work by Sibuzi, who runs Bat Sentinel, and analyze hate trend directed at targets. He is quantified online hate activity targeting Duchess of Sussex, Vice President Camilla Harris, and Amber Heard. Target are typically women, especially women of color. Okay, and time again. All right, so that's that. Let me stop. Okay, I went too long on this. Next tweet. Well, the part with the Amber Heard, with the negative content, I don't follow her on social media, so I don't know to the magnitude of how much they were uh, talking about Amber Heard, but I could understand why people were talking about her and certain hashtag were created because I've been following the Johnny Depp case. She is the ex-wife of the Johnny Depp. I've been covering on my other channel. All right, there's there are a lot of things that she's been doing within the marriage, within the uh, the lawsuit that caused people to talk about her because she has inflicted a lot of negativity uh, onto Johnny Depp. So now that Johnny Depp won his case, so a couple things have been arrived and a lot of information happened in the court and how some of those hashtags happened. So this is a self-inflicted things so like i said i don't follow her on social media i don't know to the magnitude of how the negative hashtagging and how they were talking about her but i will assume majority of the things that were happening were due to self-inflicting all right she didn't think the outcome might be reversed so now she's gonna feel the pain because she lost her case and she doesn't have money to pay johnny depp okay so this space we see in church with happy left versus grumpy right gave testimony in the presence of the Lord that the British media lied about FaceTiming going on between Jacob and Isa. So this is the area where Harry and Meghan were sitting and they were having fun, smiling, you know, Harry was having fun with his uh, cousin-in-law and all of that. But when you look over there, mm 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 wow this look oh, can i see them bigger this one at the bottom one harry was like are you okay it seems like <laughs> look at the york sisters uh, uh, uh. okay exclusive prince harry and william holding weekly facetime called to real riff ahead of jubilee the two brothers have reportedly been exchanged regular message online and uh, Ben, whatever, I can't see the rest. So pretty much they're just lying. They're just lying to themselves, to the people that they're having FaceTime. If they were, there's no communication at all. Uh, look at him, looking all miserable. All of them. Uh, uh, uh. This is what happened. They don't want you at your table. <laughs> you create your own. You move away. Uh, uh, uh. Eugenie looks nice here. Looks nice here. Let's see here. Duchess Hyena probably thought that Megan will bow to her in public and whatnot. Well, she was wrong and looked extremely jealous and unhappy. I was thinking about that as well and laughing. Quote weekly FaceTime. <laughs> That's the lie. Lies. Okay, love Jacob and Isa. Reference the older shall serve the younger. <laughs> wow space that's definitely that symbolic as f happy left labor and grumpy right tory <laughs> no they weren't all right let's go to the next tweet never forget that kate was an active participant in the bullying and hate against megan getting to the point where megan wants to commit suicide never forget the quote megan made kate cry and quote she has the husband she deserves she wants the crown so she supports him and his mistresses <laughs> okay never ever there's this it's like we n will never forget a lot of time that i keep on saying oh my god i feel bad for her especially during the church and then that thing came right after the minute that i thought i feel bad for her and the other thought come and said no don't feel bad for her because she allowed it to happen next tweet okay as usual narcissists ignore the cause and focus on the reaction does prince william feel more pressure now that harry is gone undoubtedly should William have thought about that before playing his own role and chasing Harry out? Absolutely. Okay, should have put a comma after usual. Yes. Okay. Not only does Billy feel more pressure, it's self-inflicted. Yep, all this is self-inflicted. This is the boomerang people have been talking about. Everybody saw it except them. I have so many thumbnails that focus that sort of display that sentiment you see the laser focus on megan they forgot about themselves they keep on digging holes 
down deeper for themselves. Not only does Billy feel more pressure, it's self-inflicted. Thus, his action. He got the spotlight he craved, but knows not how to use effectively. Harry no longer plays role of distractor while also being the brains and drive behind actual work. Billy freely uh, getting just desserts what was their end game did they think harry and megan was going to put up with it harry put up with being william's scapegoat for too long william got too comfortable and found out the hard way i don't even think he he's i still don't think he knows it i still don't think he knows it i don't know it needs to hit him in the face for him to realize it yes they didn't think that they will put up with it uh, why he react before thinking about the consequences of action he urged his secretary to testify against his brother's wife yep that's the thing i'll be talking about and then um when then Wooten is carrying all the hate and all this stuff is coming from the royal family the royal family are the one who's leaking to the press much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family the royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press uh, and then we have those uh, that former person who used to work at the palace who said it has to be him to give the okay for Jason Kunov to testify against them. It's been, as we know, is that the Mail on Sunday had the ruling against them in February and they were then appealing it. So it was lawyers from the Mail on Sunday who would have approached Jason Naff knowing that these emails and messages existed. Mm. That would have been the point and unless, I mean, the most likely outcome is that Jason obviously would have then gone to William and Kate and clearly he has cooperated. He would not have cooperated he would not have with those without lawyers their without their definite knowledge. And this is the thing. And, uh, hey, and they even pressure him to talk against his mom. And his mom was like, I have enough with you. You're on your own. I would like to thank Lord Dyson and his team for the report. It is welcome that the BBC accepts Lord Dyson's findings in full which are extremely concerning. That BBC employees lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother, made lurid and false claims about the royal family, which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. But my mother would have known that she had been deceived. She was failed not just by a rogue reporter, but by leaders at the BBC who looked the other way rather than asking the tough questions. It is my firm view that this panorama programme holds no legitimacy and should never be aired again. I don't think many people would want me to be Queen. Actually, when I say many people, I mean the establishment that I'm married into because they've decided that I'm a non-starter. Why do you think they've decided that? Because I do things differently. Because I don't go by a rule book. Because... I lead from the heart, not the head. And albeit that's got me into trouble in my work. Sussex squad. Sussex squad. Okay, he hasn't seen anything yet. Uh, this is just a taste of it. Okay, it's okay not to like your sister-in-law, but accommodate her if she and your brother are happy. That's exactly that. That's exactly that. The same way Harry did with uh, his, uh, his wife, with uh, William's wife okay look at this he welcomed her more than he, william actually welcomed her when things happening in public harry is the one who's calling the brother how come you're not holding the umbrella for your wife you're leaving your wife behind all of this but ever since the backstabbing what it means is that a senior figure in the royal household according to mail on sunday was passing him information uh in order to help defeat the duchess's case Harry have put his distance and still while in public show her respect okay he wanted it to affect his brother and wife what he didn't think about is uh, it will affect him <laughs> okay William thinks short term not long term yep okay William doesn't think there are any consequences for his action that's very true because he, throughout his life he has people taking blame for him 
Okay, no one ever stop him. And as I'm saying that, his children, I don't see it will take a miracle for those kids to see completely different because those two, the, the parents, William and Kate, I don't know. And then we had a small taste of that at the last day of the Jubilee, the way the little one is acting up. All right? They just need one, okay, one good uh, discipline, whatever it may be, at a child level, okay? I'm not talking about bidding or whatever. Something he truly like, you take it away from him. Or don't let him use something for, for a while. Okay, one good discipline. And I think my tender might be the one to do it. And then ever since that, okay, just said when he start acting up, you say you're going to call my, uh, my tender on him. Then he'll stop. Someone need to put him in place, scare him scare him to the point where every time he does something you say you're gonna call my tender he'll behave okay a problem the royal have been have when training the next in line margaret despair could be alive today if she had done what harry did and or had a strong supportive mate like megan yep okay he's too old not to be able to think things out after the queen goes things are going to be plenty shaky especially with the repercussion of brexit instead of incandescent flying off in a tantrum he should have acted responsibly they look so miserable and angry yep and all of this they all created on themselves you got uh all those people who were ignoring megan during the 2020 jubilee uh the commonwealth not jubilee the commonwealth the same one are still upset you got there's a picture i came across where what's her name sophia um ford fiesta sophie sophie all right looking at megan as she's taking her seat at the church look like she's about to pull somebody's head off what did megan do absolutely nothing she just keep her distance away from these people they still got upset okay and you got the uh, the brother and his wife still upset i don't know something is wrong with these people okay he's too old okay i just read that yeah they need to think things like out because once the queen is gone things is gonna get hard because a lot of people i don't know I don't think they're for that monarchy. They're holding on because of the queen. Oh, Henry, you, you keep my day going. William knew he f up and giving that Harry and Meghan received such a warm welcome solidify just how bad. Okay, that part. And the, the thing is that the people around them, around William, are not really telling them the truth. They're just telling him things he wants to hear. All right, let's see here. Harry and Meghan received such. Okay, I just read that. That probably put, partially explained his haste and getting away from that church as Harry and Meghan close proximity was intolerable for him. Yep, jealousy. The, the kind of warm welcome that Harry and Meghan got, this is what he wanted. But if all he needs to do is do good things, good things, that's all. Focus on himself, do good things, make the people happy. I've been saying this, you get the people happy, they'll be on your side okay instead of doing those nonsense backstabbing and you still want people to uh applaud you for that no so people okay how did this affect some of those people because they put themselves in the shoes of harry and megan okay because these are things that could easily be done to anybody okay you at your position it's very rarely for anybody to be at your position who will be in, in the king kind of position but instead of using your platform for good, you're using it to backstab. Uh, this is why people in, uh, in general sort of gravitate toward Harry and Meghan. Because you're doing so many bad things. Nobody likes to applaud bad things. Look at Andrew. Nobody wants to applaud that. Uh, no, and the Queen shows also another message. I've said other different variations. But uh, also because nobody wanted uh, Andrew. Uh, they did a test drive with the archbishop and then there a, was a outcry the queen don't show up okay if you don't want my son i'm not showing up people don't see that people don't see that okay and then they spent thousands of pounds on doing the party for her what is it it was a whole weekend she doesn't even show up where did she show up i saw a video of her feeding a, a horse what else? The, where, where, where did, oh, at the balcony. That's the other thing. And that was it. And everything else, what? Okay. And oh, I didn't share that. Something she show appear on TV with a bear, a uh, Paddington is something like that. I don't think I covered it, but I saw it online. Okay. This is his uh, current tea. Comma is a bitch. Oh, no, honey. 
<laughs> oh no, honey. Kama is a classy and wise elder that will calmly sit you down and serve you tea that you later realize was laced with the same poison that you serve others for years. Wow, I love this. This is a good one. Kay loves this saying. Megan served it on a platter as she and Harry walked down the aisle at St. Paul's. Royal family stuffed up and the monarchy is now and free for Harry and Megan can and do hold their head high. Yep. All right. Let's see here. William made his bed now. He must lie in it while the world watches and knows what he did, especially with Jason Knopf. I've now done 180 on whether it was a good idea for Harry and Meghan to attend the Jubilee. I'm glad they went together. I, I think she's in the same page as me, whoever's writing this. I was always against Harry and Meghan going back to the UK always uh, against it why i have my reason a video that i did in 2020 okay it has been done before something like that i think that's what i it has been done before because i saw the potential it was clear like i was watching something on a movie it sounds stupid for saying it but it's the truth i felt like i was there and i was like oh my god how can i convey this and this is how i conveyed in that video there's probably other ways of doing it but at that time I, I needed to put that message out i don't know if harry will see it or whatever i felt like i need to put it out in the best way that i know how all right and i think harry knows too and that's he keep his distance i think it took him a while to realize it because this was his brother okay and he was looking out for him and all of this harry meaning harry looking out for william as much as we may not think so but harry was Harry had Williams back but it was I think it was shock to him to see this is what has uh, what he has done and then I was like my goodness uh, he's it's him it's him I didn't know to the capacity of how much he was backstabbing but as we go forward moving after the uh, the result of the uh, copyright case and all of that more things is coming out it was pointing toward him and I was so shocked knowing Oh my god how did i know i have no clue i have no clue i i'm not a mind reader i don't have a crystal ball in my hand but that one i saw it okay let's see here i've okay so this person pretty much thinking almost the same way i was against it but every time harry goes over there he made sure to keep his distance look at before the invictus he stopped by to see his grandmother where was the the brother uh, skiing all right so he's keeping his distance now that he's at the jubilee any space that william is gonna be he's not there okay after the uh, the church there was reception i've heard he wasn't there harry and megan did not go okay i've now done 180 on whether it was a good idea for harry and megan to attend the jubilee i'm glad they went together even just for the triumphant and unstoppable imaginary okay, imagery all right there's a reason why the duke of windsor outlived all his sibling uh let's see even though he was the oldest all right let's see here i'll bet that harry can't wait to go home away from this medieval circus yeah uh, this is why uh, they were like i said in other video as they walked to the church and so i'm like you know sh she knows she's gonna um go back uh, home at least she knows where couple of days where she's gonna be at it's unlike when she was in the uk as a working wall she didn't know when this was gonna stop there's two different things here when you are aware of something you don't have control of it and when you have control of something okay this when she came in to the church she had control of it all right she knows in a couple minutes i'm not gonna be next to the to them i'm gonna be with my kids all right and then probably i won't be surprised they probably flew already they saw the kid uh, the queen they did their thing and then they bounce okay we don't know but maybe at some point in time we will know watching his jubilee excursions i see a scare man using the children as cover after all who will boo a child okay but yeah i didn't show that i spoke about it i did a screenshot of my comment where uh i think the two oldest the uh, charlotte and uh, what's the older one the, the next in line whatever not louis louis i remember his name um the uh, other one the boy with uh, they look scared they don't even want to be there and i even said i'll be the uh, adult here i'm not gonna bash them but i don't think they want to be there they should not be using the kids to do this thing give them a time to give to be kids 
and walk them slowly into the wall. Okay, but William doesn't do anything. His work engagement are far lower than his aunt and his father. Okay, he has lost a brother and a powerful ally who could have helped modernize the monarchy. My God, he underestimate Harry as a man, a husband and a worker. Said really poor Diana will not have wanted this for her boys. Not Harry's fault. He is the better man. Appreciate your freedom. That's right. I agree with this. She's right. All right, what she said. There's two comment on this. Let's go into it. Care beautifully said, Harry is choosing Diana's path. Sadly, Willie had no choice and is very much trapped. Okay, William could be a better man than he is. He made a choice to try to drive Megan out. He didn't have awareness to know Harry loves Megan and will walk with her. William deserved the life he he's living. He and Kate look unhappy with each other. William has vows. There's three there's three in the marriage and Kate on her own. How long can Kate sustain that? Yep. And then the thing is that she's young. She is young. Where she should be getting it every other night, if you know what I mean. But I guess she better get used with the dildo, I guess. <laughs> because if she's dating or seeing anybody else, that would be a perfect recipe for the tabloid to bash her and then to put William in the pedestal. Okay, even though William is cheating, they're not going to report on that. But they will report on her. I don't know. Uh, the best thing for her, I think, is to just walk out. Okay, walk out. But who's going to hire her to do anything? She just have to, how will I say, humble herself, I guess. She just have to humble herself, put her tail behind her leg, between her legs, and then do something. I don't know. But this is not life. This is not life. Okay, most of all, William can handle change. He can control. Yep. Uh, this is the other thing too if she live and uh, do something and make william uh how do you call this uh not uh, upset jealous jealous okay and and she leave the institution and try to do something else the tabloid will stop talking about her and put her in the pedestal that william will crave and then this is where she, he's probably gonna want to be with her all right uh, maybe William thought the cost of course of pacifying Harry was too high. Let's see. William can handle all the pressure in the world. He's been groomed for his role. All the effort and focus has gone into William while Harry has always been pretty much ignored. That's why he's so bitter and jealous of his brother who will be king like Scar from the Lion King. Wait a second. Who is she talking? Is that Harry who's jealous? William can handle all the pressure in the world. From what I saw in the church, I don't think so. I don't think so. These are people who, well, this is probably a, hate, a patrol. Okay, he's been groomed for his role. That's for sure. But they didn't train him to be, uh, how to jump certain hurdles. Instead, he created hurdles for himself. But let me see some of the comment on there. Uh, Harry's, okay, that's a different language. Okay, let's leave that alone. Next tweet. I spent too much time on that tweet. Prince Charles is not a brazen hussy. I saw a lot of squaddies putting that term brazen hussy in their, in their bio uh, and on Twitter. I don't know. That was a, a thread that I came across. I saw it, but I don't think I bookmark it. All right. There's this here. They're making a uh, reference to Megan because when Megan came in the UK, the window in her car was put down. All of a sudden, people were making a big deal out of it. But there's Charles here. This is why they're making the reference. Oh, but he is. How dare he look out of that car and lower his window down so that we can all see him. Okay, no, he won't let him join. <laughs> Okay, how dare he look out of the window? <laughs> how dare you, sir? Okay, he's a uh, he's a cad. Okay, anymore? There's this brazen tampon. <laughs> oh my God! Thinking people are just laughing. Thumbs up. It's Camilla's window down. Okay, she has her head down. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I'm thinking of one thing. Her head down. You know? Oh my God! <laughs> oh, lol. Down to where? <laughs> window down apparently he is he did not smile though rejected nah it's uh for the this girl is on fire and she's burning this shit down while wearing dior just as alicia key lol then she sang that song as uh Ju was it juju what is juju jubilee okay yep says who okay i love your new moniker we reject him. There's a laugh, brazen hussy, and he isn't even sorry. If he was ever truly sorry, 
he had simply abolished the monarchy. He's been waiting all his life for this. I don't think so. But he did want to be a tampon back in the 90s. So there's that. The future reigning monarchy of the kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, y'all. <laughs> okay, let's do this. If the shoe fits, window down, check. Charles and the car by the door, check. Smiling, check. Megan. <laughs> x by double standard and hypocrisy agreement yep that was the thing they're making reference because they were upset that megan put her car window down this and that and now there's uh, charles doing the same thing oh my goodness i can't believe these people all right next week i really thought we will get a picture yeah bitch is better not lie talking about i'm glad we didn't get <laughs> we didn't get one because in one two three shut up i am in pain <laughs> I'm not doing it. I guess you wanted to see a picture. <laughs> oh my god. Paige always has some freaking GIF or some clips of stuff. Okay. Christmas. That's my prediction. Alright. So I, I, I've said this in a, on another video. Whatever pictures they took. I'm talking about the Sussexes. Whatever pictures they took as a family with the Queen is gonna be in Christmas. That's what I think. Like I said, that's my prediction. If Harry's book comes out first, I think we'll see a few photos then. If not, Christmas. Uh, I have a feeling the book is done. I don't know why. I think the book is done. Uh, maybe they le uh, he left uh, the final chapter for the Jubilee, maybe. Okay, maybe the Invictus will also appear in it. And the Jubilee that just happened. Maybe two chapters is left for that. I don't know. Okay, I'm in pain too. I really wanted to get a pick, but I want them to release it when they get to the USA. I don't want them to give it to the Royal Rats a dime. If they do from US, the impact will be global hit. So Paige, for now, I feel your pain too. I don't know. If they if they have it, I mean, if they show the picture, that's good. If they don't, I'm also good. Uh, like until now, I'm alright because I I'm already have my mindset for Christmas. All right, in my mind, this is what happened. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, you really thought we were getting a picture. I didn't think we would. Okay, Sussexes are bosses. So close yet so far. Make them wait. Look every minute, hoping and blanked. Next time you see us back in Cali at Polo Invitation only. UK Media. All right, yep. Blame this damn Jubilee. Not Jubilee. For not seeing our Queen Little Bit Diana on her first birthday. Because she would have been overshadowed the rest of the Jubilee. That's another thing to to look at yep that is true yep it will have broken the internet and completely overshadowed the jubilee that is true i do but i don't especially after seeing what egg is doing if i don't i'm good it's a catch-22 situation that's the thing the squad are okay they see pictures they are happy they don't see pictures they're okay with that it's just that the thing the way the the tabloid have turned uh, the thing is this is what get the squad upset so we're pretty much on the same page probably nothing betty is racist too <laughs> page all right let's see any anyone wondering what royal keepsake hair loan betty gifted to archie and lily to hold on to okay probably not think betty is racist too okay i didn't think they were based on not overshadowing the queen jubilee okay neither did i uh they will come out from all sides of the pond to full force if we get picture of them good keep us in a, the haters stuff i love them why must we stop <laughs> this page <laughs> why must we stop i feel the pain too but i'm excited and happy about them exercising control and power over what is theirs to control helps maintain a healthy balance between private and public life and force people to respect boundaries whether they are family friend for or media respect yep that is true chance my arm with a cheeky question a bit like your mother, you are pursued every minute of every day by lots of people trying to take photographs, videoing, recording what you're saying, pushing. How can you possibly have a private life? Um, uh, cheeky question. You're right, that is a cheeky question. But, um, Andrew, to be honest with you, sadly, um, that, that line between public and private life is, 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 is almost uh, non-existent anymore. And we, we will continue to do our best to ensure that, that, that there is the line, you know. We, we are completely aware that we're in a very privileged, privileged position and I will, I will spend the rest of my life uh, you know, earning, that, earning that privilege and trying to bring a spotlight onto things and causes that really, really matter to me and I hopefully matter to a lot of other people as well. Um, everyone, is, everyone has a right, right to their privacy and you know, a, lot of, a lot of the members of the public uh, get it, but in, sadly in some areas, 
um, there is this, this sort of incessant need to find out every little bit of detail about what goes on behind the scenes. It, it, it's, it's unnecessary. You know, I hope that people get to see me here in this Invictus role, you know, cracking on with, with, with the guys and, and mucking in and having a, having a good time with them. And this is, you know, this is, this is uh, half my official role, but half my private role. This is, this is what I enjoy doing, but the private life has to, has to be private. And I hope people respect that. That is true. I agree with that. I'm sure that our pics but won't be shared. Maybe when she passes, they will share a pic from this weekend. Harry saw how ill she was and wanted to be sure his kids had time and pics, pics with their great grand. Okay, Megan and Harry do not want their kids' faces to be recognized to the world. They want them to be able to have normal lives. If we get a pic of Lily later this week, I think we will, but they're not really saying now because they don't want to overshadow, etc. This is the ruling eye. Okay, it won't be a full face shot in my opinion. Okay, it will overshadow the queen. So if they have one, we won't see it until the celebration is over. Okay, I didn't think they would because the media will say they've ruined the jubilee. Look at this, that tweet that I was reading before, the thread. How, uh, you know, they're trying to talk negative about them okay i didn't think they will because the media will say they've ruined the jubilee and the crave attention everything the sussex do now is on their own terms they don't want to line the packets of the toxic media for the same reason they decided not to attend the other events i think so too yep okay kind of glad but not really i share the same with you i won't be surprised the queen and her great grandkids will have a photo shoot together looking forward to seeing it someday okay any photo release if not with betty on this weekend harry and megan will have been filtered all right let's go to the next tweet all right what did i do here i hope this link is good because it seems like it's ruined okay maybe not next tweet Many royals at Platinum Jubilee pageant today, Charles, Camilla, William, Kate, Anne, and Sir Tim, Beatrice, and Eduardo, Eugenie, and Jack, Peter, Phillips, Zara, and Mike, and Gloucester, the Gloucesters, and some of the Queen's assorted great-grandchildren, no Harry and Meghan, or Sophie and Edward. I think I respond to this somewhere. Let's see here. As uh, always expected, the Queen will not be the will not be at the pageant buckingham palace however have not yet completely ruled out a possible sighting of her majesty the queen today a surprise appearance on the card watch this face all right we knew harry and megan were not coming for royal drama but to enjoy private quality time with granny and friend they've proved it not sure why the ford fiesta are not there <laughs> i think i retweet this out where i said maybe because she's uh the thing the face that she put at the the church when megan and harry came in maybe the queen had to uh, put her in her place okay harry has two aunt and i'm sure he wanted his kids to see also mm, maybe yeah let's see here scoby could a little bit be getting her christening we know the sussexes wanted i mean it's one i'm pretty sure she already christened in the uk um in the us okay we know the sussexes wanted to do it in front of the queen maybe maybe they're doing it now and the perfect timing to get it done one is not that far off but usually when the kids are like really babies most people like to do that like four five months the most okay i heard archie godfather in town maybe he will uh, he will be a little bit godfather too okay the queen miss archie's christening and yet uh, and they live next door and uh, it was held on her grounds I don't believe this narrative of them wanting to do it in front of the queen. Yeah, I don't think so too. I, I think they already have the christening in the US. Okay, maybe the queen spending her time with her namesake little bit and her big brother Archie. After all, it is the Sussex's last day in the UK. Uh, they probably left already. Harry and Meghan did what is important. Church and present presented babies to the queen and they said, <laughs> ciao. Okay, I think they went back to California too isn't the apollo match coming up soon okay they spent so much money only for the queen to turn up for one event lol that's what i was saying uh let's read that one and that's it does what you say make sense as much as you like to think you are equal to the royal family they spent so much money you're not who said they pay anyway okay i don't know but let's see here nope i think i was supposed to copy my thing let me see 
did my tweet okay this is my tweet i retweeted this up let's see here perhaps queen elizabeth was surveillancing the ungrateful royals at the church yesterday her face when she saw the duke and duchess of sussex was a continuation of 2020 the queen had to let her know stop with the shenanigans or no money for doing very little something is not right with the two commoners who marry into the to the family sophie and kate all right so i retweeted that uh we knew her majesty when i come in for the royal drama so that's the thing that i retweet out okay i'm exactly an hour here i have two three more tweets second world royal is supposed to be an insult or demeaning that can be real that can be an argument that must be a joke i don't think god cares about woes or who sits in them this is a church and such judgment should be left at the door what the hell uh, second world royal is supposed to be an insult demonic <laughs> the things that these people are thinking i, I think she's retweeting this is that is any this is a true swag but um i think she's probably retweeting something making reference to something that happened okay uh, that's that what was heavy sitting and while he was working royal second book he was a uh, is six and line and constantly being reminded of it even while serving the monarchy so why will he be bothered about sitting in the second world now that he's no longer a part of the firm i'm telling you those people bring crazy argument that make absolutely nonsense uh, no uh, that make absolutely no sense as i'm editing this and i think i get it why they making reference to this type of bs that makes absolutely no sense to most level headed people is that they that pedestal that they put their social class in where nobody uh, how will i say this it's like one of those like being royal or king or something is untouchable very rarely anybody could get there it's just by blood or whatever or marry into so they put in this type of things, things that they see, uh, you know, where people wants to be part of a table and you cannot be in it. So they elevating themselves. That's the thing that I see here. They keep on elevating themselves. They're making their status so precious still. But this is the thing here with the squad. Each time they keep on bringing this BS, we shed them apart and say, this is so freaking stupid. Nobody wants to be there if we don't want to, if you don't want us to be there. Fre sitting on a second wall, how is that supposed to be a big thing? I mean, majority of people, let's say if they've been walking, they'll be more than happy to sit, uh, rest their butt somewhere so they could relax their feet. But who cares who sit on the second wall? Who cares? That's the thing. They putting their status they magnifying uh, making us see like the the status is so precious and each time it crossed the path of the squad the squad shredded apart and this is the thing they're having problem with they keep on uh elevating themselves put themselves in that prestige kind of pediment or a podium and the squad keep on shredding them apart it's like dead on arrival this is the thing that they're fighting with the squad with putting their nonsense the thing that they see so dear to them doing absolutely nothing and get million for it and then th th that's the only thing i could think of that's the only thing what the f is sitting on the second wall have to do with anything harry is probably i don't even think harry wanted to be there but anyway let's get back to the original recording he uh he is undoubtedly relieved he is free no longer trapped second war all are doing better than the first war uh did tommy just conveniently forget that even prior to harry and megan leaving that this so there it is this is where they were making the reference to i don't follow her tommy probably uh wrote some bs my goodness did tommy just conveniently forget that even prior to harry and megan leaving that the second world is usually where they will be seated uh, anywhere on these types of occasion nothing changed <laughs> okay it crossed me up that people actually believe being a senior world is the pinnacle of life <laughs> this is the thing the conversation is true when these people are talking we just have to think how does this help you survive how does this put food on the table how does this uh being in a second world actually give you shelter or 
things like that. This is pure BS. I can't believe these people. Well, for the people who's writing it, I guess it does put food on the table because people are clicking and creating generate, uh, generate income for these people who's writing this BS. But my God, the, the thinking behind this. All right. It cracks me up that people actually believe being a senior royal is the pinnacle of life. Why do so many people equate what they do as being better than who they are? That may be the royal family way, but that is not real life. The royal family remain a gilded cage, rigid and stoic versus relaxed and happy. All right. I'm loving the non-squad takes on the Tory boy tweet. It is what Harry and Meghan wanted and they have it. The press are crying about the shots they didn't get. Properly avoided sitting behind Ford Fiesta or Toby chairs were ready marked. Okay. Second rule maybe, but front page every day. Okay. Yep. For the Royal Media parody actually. Okay. They just made that Harry and Meghan are doing everything on their own terms. That's exactly that. Yep. This is last year. All right, they always said in the second row. The difference is that they have been moved all the way to the opposite row. On the second row, Mike and Zara have been moved to where they used to sit. Edward and Sophie have also been placed in the first row, but in the opposite row. As I'm reading this, I'm laughing at myself just reading this nonsense. Where people sit is like, oh my God, it's like life and death. To them to these people okay no matter where harry and megan sit they always bring their own light that's for sure yep there's this here look at that look miserable thinking that they're doing something bad for uh toward harry and megan uh 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 and look at harry here <laughs> the york sisters i learned that the york sisters don't like kate as I'm saying this, I'm thinking there's an image. They were coming out of a church somewhere. One of them, I think it was Eugenie, just pushed her way past to Kate. <laughs> they don't like it. Okay, no matter where Harry and Meghan sit, they always bring their own light. Cool Kids Club. <laughs> Look at Be Is that Beatrice? Yeah, I think that's Beatrice looking over there and smiling. <laughs> Oh my God. And then a day later, what was it? Yesterday, the younger boy of hers were making that put the hand in the nose like eh, this kind of thing. My goodness. So that kid needs some discipline. All right, let me move on. I'm already an hour. Two more treat, treats after that. Makes me laugh in my British accent that they just can't see how the misery he faces is being back here. Not his massive life in Cali. America is the deflect tool, but no matter its troubles, they have so many more opportunities there. Someone come rescue me next, please. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I have you understand. He could see the difference. Being in there, trapped, can't really do what he wants. And you see him in California. Uh, I didn't show that one. It was more in a private setting. I think it was at their home. I think it was Nacho's wife who took that picture. Harry and Megan in the backyard, barefooted, people eating, drinking. You see the, I think it was Archie, the back of Archie's head. They just having fun. I, and I'm sure it, it reminds me when I keep on saying who wants to go to a, a, a Christmas uh, get together with these people where they're wearing suit and tie and you know you can't really be yourself the kids wants to run around but they're wearing suit and tie uh, okay you are so right at least in the US I know my talent talented kid has a fighting chance to make it even if slim he he or she at least has a chance but in the uk talent alone without oven ready connection <laughs> oven ready <laughs> connection means he or she going nowhere fast i learned that the hard way i remember there was a tweet i come across it was one black uh, lawyer i do how do they call this barrister or something like that and someone at the court who saw her and said, uh, ask her a question as if she's not a lawyer. And uh, she was like, yeah, I'm the lawyer. I'm waiting for my client, this kind of thing. The, the way they belittle people, uh, black people over there is amazing. All right, exactly this. It's not perfect, but there's a better shot. And it's like everything. If you have money to give your family a better life, you will. Just in, okay, just in term of whether if I could give my kids sunshine over rain, I'm going to pick sun. All right, exactly. Uh, with Evelyn, 
Levine insisting how unhappy he is yet never explaining William and Kate saw face 24 7 and each other's present. Kate Angela is a non-factor. This event is recorded for the history book and the truth is there. That's right. The truth is right there. All right, we've seen millions of pictures and videos where he looks so happy as he can, but being back in the snake pit clearly affects him. Yep, all right, they know they've been rejected, but they gotta spend it for the trolls. On the side note, heavy men mugging the cameraman uh, is hilarious. He he always find a way to let them know what time it is. Okay, somebody finally said it. This guy walk into the chapel and. All I could think was, damn, he truly genuinely loved his grandma because he does not want to be there. He, he walked down that aisle with the same look on his face from that awful Commonwealth service. Okay, I knew body language experts uh, specialize it in karma face heavy. I'm waiting so someone try me. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay, oh no, it's bad here, especially if you have a school age children. But I take your point. At least here in California, we know Megan is too good for Harry. Yep, I agree. <laughs> I think Harry noticed that too. I agree. I do think the UK really triggered a lot of emotion for Harry. And that's one reason he holds on so tight to Megan all the time. I think she is a security for Harry because he knows she has his back and she is there for him. But we know they have a lot of love for each other. Yeah, that's good. I like the way she holds his back just before they sit it. Yep. I was like, I got your back. I got you, babe. Harry, I hope this doesn't take long. <laughs> that is true while he was over there. All right. Next tweet. There's more comment. I have one more. All right. Why? I'm, oh, there's this. I don't want. I, I'm not going to share it. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip that because I don't. Um, I didn't want to bring that up. All right. Because I don't have anything positive to say. It's a child being a child. But yet. You know, I will take in, in the perspective of how they treated, uh, how they treated uh, Archie as a baby. All right, let karma deal with that. I don't want to talk about that here. Uh, I forgot that I bookmark it here. All right, thanking all the Sussex Squad team of organizers and promoters of this fundraising for Well Central Kitchen to celebrate King Archie and Princess Little Bed Diana's birthday. Sussex Squad, uh, was it? Kindness Count, Success Squad Podcast One, Mia Squaddy, Royal Suter, and others. Thank you, Success Squad, for your donation. Uh, was happy to do my part. I didn't post it. What I did, I didn't post it on Twitter. I just want the, my subscribers to know. Okay, Th this is what we did. If you guys want to share it, it's fine. I don't want to make a huge deal about it because I know I should be promoting my channel more. But the same way you're promoting it for people to come and watch your thing, the same way you're going to attract haters. I don't want haters in my comment section. I don't have time for this. So the squad will come and see it. Uh, True squad will stumble on my channel when it needs to. All right. I guess word of mouth is, I prefer word of mouth if it possible. All right. I mean, this is not a good recipe to grow a channel. I know that, but believe me, the headache that comes with all those haters, I don't want to deal with them. I, I will have to make special time. There are time. I have the time to deal with them, but not all the time. I have time to deal with them. If I make sense. All right. So sex cried $88,249 raised. I guess this is all, but as we find out i think the last real uh one it was a hundred something so these are other squad who's donating okay thank you for donation three hundred dollars well central kitchen there's more to ten well uh, well central kitchen okay okay 105 well central kitchen my nose is stuff okay thank you so much the generosity of this squad has made me speechless i'm tearing up okay my pleasure squad community is amazing thank you there's this there's that there's this thank you all right so let's do a prayer again let's do let's hope the sussex is leaving okay prayer for safe travel prayer for safe travel and protection and happiness okay probably something that i would before let's see here dear lord please keep my family in your vigilant care while we are traveling abound keep us safely shielded in your everlasting arms in jesus name amen something that i felt like i have prayer for safe trip maybe that one 
Pray for a safe trip. Lord, I go with you. I am safe with you. I do not travel alone, for your hand is upon me. Your protection is divine, beside and front and behind you and circle my life, for I am yours and you are mine. All right, so that's the prayer. And as I was reading it, there's a thumbnail that I did. I put a shield all around uh, Megan's face. Okay, so that's what came to mind. So that said, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And or you could become a member. And those who have become a member, thank you for your support. I know you guys don't ask much out of me, but I try my best to put something different from regular tweets. So that's it. Thank you. And uh, thank you for your support.